Hey Miner, so people going well. So there is an update that today is Miner is updated a stable version that is 0.25.15 today on 3rd May 2022. Today's Miner is releases a new version that is here. You can see that 0.25.15. So in this like or in this the version the stable version there is an update that they declare that this is the version fixes a few minor bugs that are present in 0.25.14 which i am using now and it is comparatively for the bug fixes and some stable mode for 0.25.12 which uh, they said that they uh, they should be not stable and the LHR extend the new LHR unlock functionality to Ethereum and ALF or Alephium dual mining and Argo single mode. So in this year they are declared that you can mining Argo single coin and get the stable mode or the version. The LHR tune values are not activated but once you have found a value that's stable for your GPU or the LHR GPU we can set it manually with dash dash LHR dash tune this command and get consistently result across minor register. So in this here you can see that the main TDX minor website that is tdx minor.com in this year they are declared or the updated the new stable version that is 0.25.15 and in this year the github page they also updated the version in this year they are allowing setup and down autotune interval separately LHR autotune interval 5 to 120 that all LHR on uh, the all T-Rex minor version is updated is here now maybe approx uh, 0.25.10 to now the time is the new releases so the LHR change mode auto tune step size and the low power mode can be now set for GPU manually or individually that I am using or say in this before video that 0.25.14 version and they are also declared that in this 0.25.14 there is some bug and also the stable version is 0.25.12 in this year they are said that LHR unlock is more stable compared to 0.25.12 infinite LHR locks loops should be solved now and here is the requirements that 512.15 version of the driver and the 510.xx or 510 something dot up that on Linux version that you can use on your high voice so this is the win version this is the Linux version so I'm using now win version so I'm just downloaded it here you can see that it is minus 0.25.15 is now downloading and the download is complete so keep anyway okay so this is the version that i'm downloading so i just save it here because the windows defender cracked this version and also extract it extract here so that's why here i am using this because windows defender does not crack my batch file because of the antivirus security reason so i'm now going to set the batch file 
which is you can see here uh, I am going to statum generator to the main batch file setting here we can see that this is the statum generator ID and this is my wallet ID and what I am using the command or the parameter that is dash dash LHR autotune mode is full because the new version of LHR cards can be stable or unlock is how much that trace miner is going to be unlock and the autotune step size the autotune interval size so just copy it here and for my fourteen I think is here this is the fourteen version so I'm going to Ethereum copy paste and save it on NiceS because I'm using NiceS. Here is set, and now going to the batch file setting. So run anyway, and copy it again, and. Save it here. Okay, so save it here and copy this and paste it here. So my batch file setup is set. So why? Direct manner is updated is this new version is totally uh, for a bug fixes that they are says in 0.25.12 version the stable version in here they said that the, uh, this is not a stable version because the loop is going occur and uh, here the extended version you can see that the extended LHR new unlock functionality for ETH and ARC dual mining and also the Argo single mode and the second thing is that LHR tunes values are not accurate and third is the allow setup is uptime and the downtime the auto tune interval times that is the 5 to 120 meaning that LHR auto tune mode minor increasing the LHR value every 5 minutes and decreasing also the same so and the LHR more frequently than once every 2 hours and the default value is 0 0.1 which is previously 0 0.5 so all this here is and you can see the version and also this on discord server they releases it here and they compared this 0.2512 to 0.25.15 and here also the same message the extra parameter and the low power mode all is here that 0.25.14 the test version they releases and same message is here so they can say that LHR unlock is more stable compared to 0.25.12 and you can more stable goes on Argo mining if you are going to Argo then you can 
be stable or your mining week are going to be stable not much here this is the nvidia drivers that is required the download version this is the linux version and here they not updated any extra command for high voice just updated this low power mode command for high voice okay so now all going done i'm going to close it here and yeah we can see that okay this is the 0.25 dot 15 version the batch file is here okay so here my both 3060 lhr v1 and v2 card this is the v1 card this is the v2 card this is the msi gaming x version this is the msi oshi version okay and the requirement graphics card sorry the requirement driver is 512.15 which i am using and the overclock setting this is for my cards you can use for your msi card but if you have another gpu model then you can choose for yourself which is better so for my cards for the gaming version and the oshi version i'm running on same overclock setting that is core clock is minus 502 memory clock is plus 1550 power limit 70 temperature limit 71 and the fan speed is 100 because of summer time here we can see that my both cars overclock setting are same so all is good now i am going to start the mining double click on that here we can see that 0.25.15 is running and my 2360 card is going to run and the DAC generation is complete so after a few minutes I will start the video for how much it will get the maximum hash rate the unlock version or the reality so stay for that so after a few minutes gone my gpu is going to be stable here you can see that my both 30 lhr card is got 37 to 38 megahertz but i'm not understand that why this was going because in this before version the 0.25.12 or the test version 0.25.13 or 14 whatever that i'm um, getting more than this because there i'm using or uh, getting the maximum hash rate is about 39 to 40 megas but here you can see that 38 is going i don't know it's going to be increase or decrease but my question is that why la trx minor is releases this version or the new version is continuously is releasing because they declared that they updated the bugs but i don't know what is the bugs because in this previous version the test version or the stable version there uh, i use this both all version you can see in this my before video but i Uh, so here yeah, it's going to be 38 uh, so I'm not uh, in this before version I'm using my both 30 LHR card for some days you can see in this before video but there I can get any issue and my both cards getting more mega hash on this version but in this version here yeah, I am getting around 38 mega hash I don't know why but you can see the same overclock setting just a minute you can see that my same overclock setting is here i am using this but in here that i am getting the decrease value the mega has value i am not understand why this so why this tds 
version or the new 0.25.15 version is releasing this is for the only for bug fixes but there i'm not getting any bugs in this before version but they are declared that they changes uh, the bug fixes or they compared the version um, between the 0.25.12 or this new version 0.25.15 but also says the new LHR power mode version which is running or they declared on the test version 0.25.14 but I am not using this low power mode version because if I am going to use this command then I can roughly get the low power mode is around 170 watt but my mega edge value is getting the same is 37 and 38 so why i am using this low power mode version this is not profitable for me because i want more mega hash on for my lhr cards so that's why i'm going to swap up the before version is going to be the test version or before the stable version because there i can get more mega hash and more stability here I am getting the stability but not get the maximum hash rate so what do you think that which you are going to use because I am not get any reason that I am use this version because uh, or here you can see that my both 30 LHR card is got same the 37 to 38 mega hash and the lhr unlock is 77.8 and the power limit is 110 to 113 watt wait a minute oh no the same is that 117 118 and 119 so the stable stability is 118 watt which is i am getting for my cards and the efficiency is 339 kilohash per watt or 340 kilohash per watt so this is the conclusion that i am not using this version because of this wattage the kilohash per watt or the mega hash especially for the mega hash because this is not the good for any kind of lhr card if you use in your lhr card then you also get the decrease value that i am getting in here so you can also maybe say that why i am using this version so this is the reason that i'm not using this version i'm going to use the previous version so this is the profitable for me and it's going to be stable for me because i'm not getting any issues in here so what your thoughts what you say you can comment on below so this is the update guys hope you like this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the updated video or the latest video and leave your comment that what you actually think about that on this new version so hope you guys enjoy this informative video see you in the next one bye bye